What is popping, Adam? How you thank doing? You good. Very good, thank you. It's sizes. I like your your poster. Logan is sick. Oh yeah, I've, I've got loads of I've got loads of rubbish up here. Loads of daft stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um yeah, we were, we've been playing the game. Like congratulations. It it looks amazing. Oh, thank you. It's so awesome to have, you know, um the actors you have involved with it. Um it's yes, the game it's is very gorgeous. Lucky. Yeah. How did that even even come about? Well, you know, I'd like to say it was completely by design, 100% skill. It was our plan the whole time, but really it only happened when we teamed up with Raw Fury and okay they saw something a lot bigger in the game than we had the confidence being british we're low on confidence um so they <laughs> had a lot more confidence in the title and what we were making than we presumed to have so they said oh you guys you know who would be your ideal you know actor to be the narrator in this game and we were like well you know from perman <laughs> they'll never <laughs> yeah. get him and and they did so we we thought they were joking most of the time and then they said, no, no, we really, we really have got him. And uh, yeah, so that was a bit of a dream come true for us, to be honest. That's cool. Yeah, shout out to Raw Fury. They've been amazing with the, um, working with us on the Gorilla Collective and then showcasing your game. Um, some exclusive stuff was, was pretty awesome. I mean, we've been following yeah, this game for, for a while. Um, and yeah, having Ron Perlman it definitely, you know, adds notoriety, but also to the theme, you know, because it sounds so rich. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. He, he was, yeah, by far on the top of our list. So, yeah, we're very, very lucky. So tell us about the game and, like, how you came up with the whole idea. Your team came up with the idea and the design. Yeah, uh, yeah no, no problem at all. So, um, I mean, what we usually like to say is that a person had a very clear idea on everything. That isn't how this happened at yeah. all. It was very much a, a bucket list of things that we love. Like, so we love comic books and we love different flavors of shooters and uh, we love like horror games as well. And we had all these different ideas about things that might be really fun. Um, and we decided to try and put it all in one package and see what happens. Uh, luckily for us, it seemed to come together into something that has its own sort of voice, which, I, which we're quite proud of. So tell us about a little bit about the mechanics as he's yeah. smashing. So as, as you can see, we, yeah, I mean, you, you can see straight away that we were, you know, trying to meld two different uh, shooter genres that very rarely have anything to do with one another. So we're big fans of twin stick shooters, mm -hmm. but we also um, wanted to see what could happen if we brought cover mechanics into the center of the twin stick experience. And um, that was, quite novel for us. We hadn't seen that done or combined in that way before and that meant quite a lot of prototyping and testing as, as always to try and figure that out. But we're trying to get this clear sense of like a Western style gunfight where you crouch behind cover, count your bullets, dash out, That's cool. do some damage and then get back into cover again. And nearly every system in the game is to try and do one of two things. Uh, the baddies are either trying to get you out of cover, or if you're out of cover, they're trying to get you back into cover again. So we, it's got a very quite unique staccato pace to it. And the the um, the cover is breakable and explodes and stuff like that as you, as you go along. Yes. So they're trying to destroy the cover while you're trying to kill them. Absolutely, yeah. So with the classic Western shootouts, you'll dive behind cover, reload your weapons, and you have a, bo a boost to you know, how quickly you can reload when you're behind cover. So there's good reasons to get in there. And But cover doesn't last forever. The great thing about it, though, is you can shoot from cover with complete impunity. If, if you're behind cover, even if you're shooting, the cover's going to take the damage, not you. But it doesn't oh, last forever. Nice. That's really cool. It does definitely look like a, a living, breathing comic book, which is... Oh, thank you very much. I really That's like the, exactly what we were hoping to hear. The, 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 you know, all of the characters have a lot of, like, interesting design. He's got the red cape and kind of, like, the Ghost Rider flame, but then he has mm. this, like... I'm an art dude, so, like, <laughs> you know, looking at that, this is the first thing I, I kind of key into, but he has, like, the, the slash across his skull, which is really, like, makes him stand out. 
You know, I could mm -hmm. definitely see figures and stuff made from this character. Oh yeah, definitely. I think a lot of our sort of love for different comic books shone through in a, a lot of the designs, especially when it came to like the main characters and uh, that appear in the title for sure. Very good. You're playing well. <laughs> oh, as you can see, um, we've had to use quite a lot of interesting things with the different weapons you have as well. So, shotguns have a very short range compared to rifles. And there's about four different flavors of weapons. There's uh, rifles, shotguns, pistols, and revolvers. And each of these squeeze the player into a different corner of the gameplay. So shotguns are great close up and have a wide arc, but you've really got to get out from cover to get close enough to use them most of the time, unless you're willing to sit put and wait for something to come to you. So can you tell us about the, uh... Or tell the world about the story and the narrative behind what's going on. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah. I'd love to, absolutely love to. So, we are doing a quite a riff of the uh, kind of like a stranger in town, um, sort of classic um, Western style story. You don't know who you are. Um, you don't know who you were, um, but you know that there is a new place that you need to clean up. And um, but this place different from other westerns is like uh, some is setting the afterlife uh, oh, but uh, not your classical kind of christian style afterlife that we thought it's its own place it's got its own kind of law sure and this is a place which is shaped by the memories and fears uh, of the souls that are stuck there and normally stop the souls will pass through everything's fine and they face some kind of judgment the good ones head east and the bad ones are sent west but for oh, some reason, purgatory is stuck. People aren't leaving uh, when they should. And that's because something's gone wrong, which is what you're there to sort out. <laughs> oh, nice shot. That was like a money shot for sure. <laughs> I can't wait to see some of the bosses. I bet you the design is outstanding. Oh, that. Yeah, that we've had a lot of fun designing a lot of these enemies. I mean, the other thing about this story is with the structure is a kind of a roguelite structure. So you never know what's around the next corner. We want that to oh, we really, we really okay. want to make the players bit, uh, skill build up and keep facing them with new surprises each run. But trying to mesh that with a clear story is a bit of a challenge, actually. Yeah, so we had sure. to start. Uh, we had to start thinking about the story not as a straight line but as a spiral that goes back around and back around to the same points and what can we tell the player mm. in these known little areas of the game and which is usually in between levels it turns out so there's a little cast of characters who will tell you a bit about themselves a bit about your past as well as recurring antagonists that you'll come across as bosses as the game moves forward so is it so the the um, the enemy distribution is randomized and are like the is the cover randomized or the levels randomized or just mostly the enemy distribution? It is so the every room. Um, uh, so you're speaking to the coder here. So stand back. I'm going to start going into detail. Go I, in. I like go in. <laughs> so every room that you're in has been thought of as like a dozen different flavors of oh, encounters cool. so there's lots of different places where it might be a good place to have cover it might be a good place to have a, a column in the way and then also the rooms are all combined in different orders the contents of the room is different every time and also we have basically a like a magic bucket of baddies that we we put in a certain number of points and you say give us give us 30 points of baddies and it will shake itself and then pour out a few baddies for each room. So that allows us to have some degree on the exact number of enemies that you might have, but we kind of make recipes of enemies. So we always want to have one of these guys as a minimum, but we can never have more than two of these types of baddies. So you. when we throw that through a computer, we end up with what we hope is a best of both, a, sorry, a best of both where there are rules and structure to the kind of encounters that you have. It will never be a mob of purely melee guys. At the same time, it won't be the same every time either. It'll be different for every single room, every single run. That's cool. <sighs> yes. 
<laughs> I was wondering about health because I was like, I, I, it looked like I went to a room where I was like, sort of, was I saving my progress there? The, what, what was the? That's the right. Room? Yeah. So if if the uh, if the skull uh, flashes in the bottom right corner, yeah. So that ring, those are save points, so you can. Uh, recover your rung back from there um, if you haven't died. So if you want to, you have to go and make a cup of tea or coffee, you can come back and continue your, your rung from there. Um, so it's got an in-game save, so you can a oh, rungs can get pretty long. So if you if you're like oh, I'm, I'm an hour ring, but I don't want to lose my run, you can you can stop and come back later on. Okay. Um, and also, it's a rogue light, so there are extra abilities that you can permanently unlock. For example, a health flask which lets you have one heal per run, followed by a better health flask with two heals per run, or I rather see. two heals per level. And these things start to give you just a slight leg up at the mm. start of the runs. So it depends on how confident you are. You can, if you really need to, grind it a little bit just to give yourself a bit of a leg up. Um, or if you're feeling you know, super on it, from the start, you can get further without having to die too many times. West, this game is, West of Dead looks dope, man. It's so um, good. Yeah, it's really cool. People are gonna definitely enjoy this. So it, uh, right now, can you wish list on Steam? I, I saw that the it's you can uh, play the demo on Xbox, right? Yes, you can. So you can play the demo on Xbox and Steam. It is currently on an open beta. And nice. I think I'm, I'm meant to say this. I can't see any notifications popping up. So if you play the um, the open beta, I think you can get a discount on the launch, which is on Thursday. <gasps> Thursday wow. is the launch. So everybody Thursday. pick that up. Make sure to um, to definitely, you know, check out this game. It's really awesome. Thanks for joining us. How can we find out more about you and your team and, and oh, uh, well, anything else you are... want to... Yeah, please. So we are Upstream Arcade. Um, Google us. Um, we should be. We should be there. I could. I won't do that right now. <laughs> but, yeah, Google us. Find out a bit more about us. And uh, this is West of Dead. Um, and yeah, the team we've got a very small team. Only four people. Oh, really? The, wow. the central team. So we're you know very excited slash nervous and, and hope that everyone has a lot of fun playing it. Cool. Thanks so much. Uh, thanks, Adam. That was uh, West of Dead. The game is cool. Shout out to to Raw Fury again for hooking them up with with uh, Ron Perlman and and just being amazing publishers.